One thing that's really special about my van is I have two sliding doors. Hi, my name is Valerie. I'm from Montreal, Canada. Uh, you are presently on my wheel home. So I bought this van. It's a ProMaster, a Dodge Ram ProMaster 2017. Uh, I bought it like less than a year ago. Built it all by myself and uh, I'm traveling around like in the States and uh, Mexico. We're presently in Baja California. And uh, yeah, after seven months of building, I can now present you Ginger the Van. Buenos dias. It's a used van, so it's a 2017. Already had 188,000 kilometers. All the electric, the wiring inside the van, I did it by myself. All the connection, the fuse box and stuff like that. But I didn't do uh, the connection into my van battery. The big wiring like in the battery and the converter in the back. I've, uh, I got it done by a friend of mine that built that. Just to make sure that those huge connections were like well made. Because I mean, you want your electrical component to work. There is some stuff that I didn't do by myself, like a, the fan, I didn't cut the van. The fan and the little window that I installed in the back has been in, cut and installed like by other people. I didn't want to do that. That was the first thing to do on the van and I was way too scared to <laughs> cut into my van. Uh, I did propane installed by somebody else to be certified. This is my little shower, so I've been loving this tile that's like Italian green, like kind of like, oh, seems like the metro tile, but it's like all like in the uh, vertical sense. I've just been loving it for many years. So when I decided that I was going to do a van and I did some research and I saw that people are putting tiles sometimes in their van, which I didn't consider at first. I was like, this is probably the piece in the full van that costed the most, like, because with the green goes the gold. So Ooh. my shower like head is gold, but it's also, it's a Nebia by Moen, which is a shower like head that used 50% less water. Like it's way more expensive, but at the same time I was like, when I'm gonna take a shower because it's already a luxury to have a shower, you're using a lot of water from your water tank. So I was like, at least if I'm using it, one that's like using less. The shower is a 24 by 32. So I have like composting toilet. It works really well. It doesn't smell anything. It's really easy to remove the compartment in front to just like empty it. This is like my little space to put my shampoo, all my like soap uh, when I take the shower, but I'm not leaving it because I didn't put yet thing to hold them on. So I put them like next to the sink when I'm not using my shower. So for my shower, I can, yes, take like some hot shower, which I didn't yet. <laughs> I can't wait for the first one, but I have a water heater that works on propane. So it's like in the garage section, just behind the, the shower. My gray water is under the van. It's a 15 gallon uh, gray water un under, and you can see like my propane is over there. So it's like under. So that's my propane and I have a quick connect on it so I could mm -hmm. like connect like a barbecue if mm -hmm. I wanted to. I really wanted to have a prop freezer big enough and I wanted to have enough space and those like fridge that are made for like vans and boats that are already 12 volt and the freezer is kind of part of it so finally your space is not like that much i mean i love fresh food i don't eat meat i, I already have I always have like tofu with me i always have like a lot of fruits and veggies it's always tricky i have like a lot of stuff that i put in my fridge i'm like those small, small fridge it's gonna be tricky and also they are so expensive i understand why but they are so expensive so having like a fridge that's like uh, 120 volt and getting it converted 
and also I can choose it and have it like really cute uh, that still cost me less than like the other fridge so I was like I know it's not proper I know like I by the long run I might have it broken but to get it repaired or to change it will still be a better price so for me it was no question asked it's yeah yeah so it's working on the on, 12, on the 12 volt uh, what what for me is using the most battery it's my little oven that I decided to get because I mean there is so much that you can do with that that's what I think like I love like having like veggies like kind of like in roasted and stuff like that uh, to have like pizza uh, to make myself some muffin make some myself some granola because granola is very expensive so I decided to get that but that is the reason I had to get like two batteries all the electric the wiring inside the van I did it by myself all the connection and like the the fuse box and stuff like that but I didn't do uh, the connection into my van battery and the connection of my solar panel wiring like in the battery and the converter in the back I've, I, I got it done by a friend of mine that built that just to make sure that those huge connections were like well made because I mean you want your electrical component to work so I have two battery of 100 amps in total and uh, my solar panel is a 310 which works perfectly because Pretty much nothing like really kind of like my lights i mean this is El using almost nothing. right this is the little step i was talking about mm -hmm. it's like you can sit on it but it's also like a step like that that's been built in the 1950s by the brother of my grandpa so it's really funny so that i carry family. it it's really steady and i so i use it to go there but i realize i also need it when i want to like search in my little over there because i'm so small then like i cannot go <laughs> into it in terms of storage i have like obviously my kitchen cabinet over here and this is my my clothing cabinet so i have one here and one over here so for all my clothing everything is there there is nothing else anywhere so i'm actually really surprised that that was one of my um, big uh, big goal to be able to pack light <laughs> and uh when I saw all my clothing in my room, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna start with that, but I'm probably gonna need to remove a lot of stuff. I have another one on top of my bed. That's for like my beauty product. All like my makeup, my oil for my face, air stuff and everything. Uh, for me, it was really important to have like places for books. So in the back for like my Kimmel, for like my little book. Windows in the back over here. I have my fan also. Didn't have to use it yet because it's not hot enough, but. I think it's gonna be pretty convenient when it's gonna be really really hot and my little like under sink so I have my compost bin here that's really important for me and all like my cleaning supplies and my little garbage that I don't use that much that's why I put it in the space mm -hmm. that I don't need necessarily that full access mm -hmm. because I put almost never nothing in the garbage and uh, this is all the, the thing to cook so like all my utensil, my plates are over here, my little like glass to drink out and it's the rest and as you can see I still have space so like honestly I've been like pretty good in terms of kitchen stuff to bring, I could actually bring more. really important for me to have my plant in my van. I have my little cactus here. I did like a little shelf for them. So I'm bringing them back home. So yeah, on that side, like the lounge slash table eating area, as you can see, I have my like little library here. But also I have like some storage here for everything that I use like constantly and I change what I put over there so like now that we are in Mexico and I'm gonna use a lot of like uh, I'm, I'm red hair so I need to put a lot of sunscreen so I have all my sunscreen over here directly access this is where I should belong inside a simple song 
of the first thing that I built, but one of the things that I was really proud of building it because like, I mean, this is really convenient to have it. Like I didn't, I wanted to use that space. I didn't want to have like a full bench. First of all, I'm small, so I can sit from here and have my feet over there. So that was the most important. So I could all use this stuff to have a, like a pantry and the, the, the place at the bottom, I wanted to be higher so I could have like a proper like oil bottle, but also wine bottle all over there. <laughs> So, uh, so it's been pretty like convenient and it can actually store a lot of food, all the spices and stuff. And then under my bench, I have like a big drawer over here that has all my nuts, figs, uh, everything that I eat when I'm constantly on the road because I don't want to stop. So I just put that next to me and constantly eat and my shoe <laughs> compartment. <laughs> This part here also goes up. I still have like a lot of space here, but this is everything that I need to be protected. And that's also yeah, where I'm eat. eating. I have my little table here and I put like that. My little lagoon goes like that. Now I can eat over mm -hmm. here. If I just want to put something and I just want to sit over here, pretty convenient and one thing that's really special about my van, is I have two sliding doors. This door is also open, and I put like the brackets for the lagoon table. Also, another one on the outside part, so I can put my table on the outside part and actually eat. Outside has a bar, being like my little legs in the air and like looking at the view instead of being like kind of just eating inside. Like I'm talking about the table, but just opening that door and be just being sitting like on the bench and having some hair and also having the two doors open that gives a little, like a really good flow of, of air inside. So mm. that's like the little special thing about my ginger. All my lights, like I have like lights over under here. So it's mm. all like with, with dimmer. Same thing for the kitchen part. Like my lights over here under mm. and I have lights mm. under in my room also, and I have my little reading lights mm -hmm. also. I always wanted to go on the road, I love driving, and I actually rented a van when I was in Australia in 2016. I felt in love the freedom of being on the road and having literally everything you're traveling with you, but still being able to go off-road compared to just going to hostel because I've been backpacking since like I'm 18 years old in Europe, but it's not it's not the same. So like just being on the road, driving something that I love, being in the jungle, being in the forest, seeing stuff and putting like just parking anywhere you want. Still, we just love it. So when I came back, I was like, one day I'm gonna have mine. <laughs> and work and life, you postpone, you postpone. And then last year, I came here in Baia and I saw so many people with their van and I met a couple that bought a van here in Mexico and just put a bed in the back, just and build like one or two things. And they were just like living in Baia since like two months with that little van they bought. And I look at them and I traveled with them like for a few days and I was like, they're doing the life that I want, but I've been postponing. No, this year. This year is the year. Came back in Montreal, did some research. Two months after I had my van, and I said like in January I'm leaving. So uh, seven months after I was having my van in my hand and I'm traveling. <laughs> I started from Montreal because I'm from there. So started in Montreal, did one stop in New York just to sleep. And then I hit like North Carolina, uh, Wilmington, a little town on the, on the East Coast. Stayed there for three days. Then I passed from the South. So crossover like South Carolina, uh, Alabama, uh, Texas, Louisiana, Texas. Like I might pass some in between, but like straight in three days to hit the, um, New Mexico, went to Roswell, went to White Sands, and then crossed in Arizona, went to Sagaro National Park to see mm -hmm. cactus because I'm a big, big 
big family of cactus and you can see my little baby here <laughs> and then uh, sleep in uh, slept in the desert like uh, for like a little event Kuli Paruza then crossed the border and came down so yeah now I'm in Baia then I'm going back north travel in California because I really want to visit California so bad and then hit the National Park Dres Zion doing the west coast and crossing Canada afterwards. The plan is to be back at the end of April in, in Montreal. Good long road trip for like the first trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out our playlist of other van tours.